Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of The Cloudy Vape. In this video we're going to be talking about the Twisted Messes RDA by Comp Vape. By Twisted Messes, manufactured by Comp Vape basically. Look at that logo. That logo though. So this is the RDA. Let's uh, you know, let's dive down and check it out. Alright, so here it is. Here is the Twisted Messes RDA. This is the box it comes in. A uh, few things to note. It says Comp Vape. It says Twisted Messes. Has their uh, Twisted Messes logo. It also says Comp Vape designed in the USA. The USA Comp Vape. This looks like uh, this looks like Mojo Jojo. My uh, my wife reminded me what Mojo Jojo looked like, and that looks like Mojo Jojo. If you don't know who Mojo Jojo is, then I'm not even going to say anything. So uh, you pull that off. Uh, as far as yeah, that's it. Nothing else on the top. Um, on here, you have all the goodies. This is where you know all the happiness happens. Right when you get it, these are assembled a certain way. I try to put it back in there to make it look cool and stuff, but I don't know if that's how exactly it goes or not. But Mojo Jojo. As far as other markings on the box, you have Mojo Jojo again right here, and uh, Mojo Jojo again right here, and that is about it. I don't see anything else. Uh, let's look at the Hadi A. The Hadi A is right here. Here it is. This is with the blue sleeve on, uh, and fortunately, they come with a. Uh, comes they. It's like multiple people. Who am I? Who am I talking about? If it'll pop out, comes with a silver sleeve to replace this blue sleeve. Ooh, fancy. So uh, that's an option right there. I'll show you how to replace that. Uh, also, the other cool thing comes with a 510 adapter for your drip tip. Also, with a very nice uh, tall 510 with a decent bore on it. And also, it comes with another drip tip. So this is a uh, you know a little bit a uh, little bit larger Delrin board, uh, wide bore drip tip. A little bit um, you know a little bit smaller than the Chuff style. So uh, yeah, you have three options with drip tips, which is super cool. So let's check out the goodies inside of here. We have replacement O-rings for days. We have replacement um, pin on the bottom. I believe it's like copper plated uh, or silver plated copper pin. Uh, you have some peak insulators to replace uh, your insulator, which is nice. You also have some super long grub screws. I mean, look how long those grub screws are grub screws for days uh, so you do have a good amount of goodies and you have your allen key to tighten up the uh, you know the allen key grub screws so this retails at about $59.99 at twist twistedmesses.com um, and as far as the build it is three or four stainless steel and the copper center post on the bottom the copper contact is actually uh, it's not copper why did I even say copper it is silver plated brass yes so uh, I'm just so used to things these days coming out with uh, copper, you know, copperness. So uh, yeah. Uh, but as far as the markings on the outside, before I dig down into this, uh, we have Comp Vape. Um, you have your serial number. This is 2,508. So I definitely did not get a good number. Darn it. You have an adjustable pin on the bottom. Like I said, silver plated brass. And uh, that is it on the bottom. The uh, the pin does protrude out pretty well, so it will work on your hybrid connections. As far as the top goes, uh, it's a little weird design. I've never seen this before. So this chuffed cap uh, unscrews like this, and this is how you replace your other adapters for the other drip tips. So that comes off just like that. Very nice. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So it is very large. I would say um, the innards, the inner bore of this is probably about, oh shoot, 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters. Uh, I'm, I'm just guessing. Anyway, it is really large. I mean, there is your, you know, 22 millimeter size, and this is the actual uh, the tip for the the larger chuff style tip. So that is that. Uh, the way you replace it is you get your adapter that screws on just like this. This is your adapter and this is the one that's going to connect to your 510 into your uh, just wider Delrin, kind of like the Mutation X Delrin, a little bit larger though. So this right away, just with this connection, it'll connect to the Delrin tip just like that. And all of these O-rings are pretty darn snug. 
The only O-ring that I think could be a little bit snugger is the one for the actual uh, top cap that goes down onto the deck. But again, that's just my, uh, my thought on that. So that pops off just like that. That is how you connect that. And then your 510 adapter goes into the same slot right there. There's your 510 adapter. And then you can pop this off just like that. And that is for all of your uh, happy 510 connections. Uh, 510 drip tips, you can put those in there perfectly. Now looking at the cosmetic sleeve that you can switch out. It is an airflow ring, but it's also cosmetic because it does serve a purpose, but the fact that you can switch them out. So this just pops off just like that. That leaves the barrel just like this. Uh, and then you have your outer barrel that is your airflow control. Um, and yeah, so you can switch it out to silver if you like, or blue, kind of a, you know, a metallic bluish and uh, that is that is the option for your cosmetic look of it. Uh, so the cool thing is you do have on this control ring, you have two options. You have your single coil. If you look back there, it is blocked off inside of here. So here's single coil. This would be your dual coil because you have the two options on each side. Uh, right there, dual coil, dual coil. This is your single coil. So what you would do is you just line them up on the uh, the actual barrel just like that if you want your single coil then that would block off this and this and then the cool thing is you can close them off as much as you want and then once you get the airflow to where you want it to be you just get your top cap your threaded top cap section and you just thread it down in tighten it and that will lock that into place pretty well so that is definitely a cool option on that. And then if you want uh, your dual coil or uh, dual airflow rather, you just turn, turn it to the dual section like that, tighten it down and it's open on both sides, which is very nice. And we can adjust that also and it will adjust on both sides just like that. So as far as the airflow goes, let me see. I would probably say it is about, uh, you know, roughly three millimeters. Uh, each little hole right there is about three millimeters. So I would say probably about eight to nine millimeters in width because the, uh, the circles are overlapping. So uh, it is, you know, it's kind of a different style, kind of a wavy, not so much like Cylon, kind of like a uh, teeth, looks like a little uh, monster trying to bite you type thing. Uh, so yeah, you have that going on. So it is a pretty decent airflow on both sides and in single coil mode. And uh, the option to adjust is very nice. So that is cool. All right, let's check out the deck. Holy post hole guacamole. These are 2.8 millimeter post holes. These are huge. Only, only twists and messes would do this. Absolutely. These are absolutely huge. I know if I build like 24 gauge in here, it just dwarfs. These post holes dwarf that 24 gauge. So uh, you have two, two uh, negative posts milled into the deck. You have a nice big center positive block with two center positive holes in there. And uh, yeah, it is just um, the machining. That's, that's what I'm wowing about right now. The machining is very, very top notch on this. Uh, the only thing I'm not a fan of are the grub screws. But again, that is just my, my uh, opinion on that. Not a fan of grub screws. Um, but yes, also the grub screws are super long, so they definitely tighten down really well and you can get pretty good torque on them. So looking at this, you definitely have a lot of room for a lot of builds, uh, all different sizes, all different types of coils. You do have a lot of room. Uh, as far as the juice well, it is about a six millimeter juice well and it is very nice. No uh, sharpness going around anywhere. Uh, just very simplistic. You have two O-rings to seal off the uh, the barrel, the top cap. Uh, I wish they were a little bit uh, bigger because it, it does seem to slip off a little bit. It's not super snug on the, uh, the barrel part. At least it spins once there's juice and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna real quickly just wrap some 22 gauge in here just to show you what it might look like as far as spacing goes. Uh, you definitely have a good amount of spacing. All right, so I'm just doing seven wraps, uh, seven wraps of 22 gauge using a uh, 2.5 millimeter screwdriver. Now I'm just gonna pick a lead, bend out one of the leads to the right away from the coil. That way I have a little bit more room. Now I'm just gonna pop that coil in, 
center it up where I want it, and then tighten it down. Now I know I'm not doing any fancy coil or anything, so I'm, I'm putting his RDA to shame. But um, yeah, I just really wanted to show you that you can fit large gauge wire in here pretty well. And uh, these uh, screws do snug down pretty well, even if it is a pretty large gauge wire. Just for the sake of time, I'll just show you one coil in there. There is one 22, uh, 22 gauge coil in there, seven wraps, very nice, and you do have plenty of room. All right, so that wraps up the up close section. We're gonna go back up to FaceTime. I'll finish up this build, we'll vape on it, and talk about it. All right, before we talk about the pros and the cons, let's have a little vape. So right now I'm using the uh, the middle size Delrin drip tip. So I'm gonna switch it up and use the, uh, the big chuff style drip tip and then we'll have another vape. So the chuff, the chuff tip, or the larger tip rather, definitely uh, cools off the vape a little bit more. Uh, not as much flavor of course, but uh, yeah, it's definitely an option. So that's definitely why I like this. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, no, I am. I'm gonna switch up for the, uh, I'm gonna switch up to the, uh, the 510 drip tip. Vape on it with a 510 drip tip. And then we will do the pros and the cons. Uh, I just thought I would do all of these drip tips because, you know, this is one of the main options on the device, so I thought I would just talk about it real quick. Uh, so I'm going to switch it up. You have a little adapter like I showed you. Pop it in. I'll get that 510. Pop it in. And then let's have a little vape on it. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. So definitely uh, the 510 drip tip definitely gives you the best flavor. Um, the most cool, you know, cooling off with the widest open airflow would probably be with the chuff style. That will definitely give you the most cool vape, of course. Uh, you're definitely cooling off the vape. Um, as far as the airflow goes, you know, it's a nice option that you have three, well, you have multiple options, but basically the way they're kind of cut in, it kind of lets you set perfectly uh, three options, you know, all three open or all three closed on each side or single coil. So it's cool that that option is there. The only issue that I have found is the fact that you have this sleeve going on. So this sleeve sometimes doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to uh, do what I want it to do, especially if I'm uh, just popping off the, the drip tip or popping off the cap to drip into it. Um, because I don't usually drip straight into the tip, even if they're large comp caps, big big caps. I don't really drip into them. I uh, always need to see how much juice I'm putting in, but you know, that might not be an issue for you. So uh, again, that's just my personal issue on that. Um, so yeah, that, that ring does seem to loosen up a little bit. So I haven't really cranked it down super tight. Uh, the other thing is if you're trying to unscrew your RDA, um, what's going to happen unless you really try to push on the base, if you're trying to unscrew the actual deck, it'll just keep spinning. Uh, so that is an issue too, but again, that might just be a personal issue. I switch RDAs all the time on my on my mods, so um, you know that's just something that I threw out there as an issue. So I'm kind of going with I guess cons first before pros, because there definitely are some pros for this. Uh, but I just want to point out the cons real quick. Uh, so yeah, those are those are the main things I would say. Um, that inner sleeve is great, or the outer sleeve rather is great, but it does uh, it does you know. I run into a few issues with it. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, but as far as the building, the building goes is it is just super easy to build. You have huge post holes. Uh, you have plenty of room to uh, fit the majority of coils into there. No matter what you're building, you have you know the option to fit in there. So that is really nice. Um, but yeah, as far as um, quality, quality is great. As far as what comes in the actual package, absolutely awesome. You get three options for drip tips. Uh, you get, you know, options with airflow, 
you get replacement screws, replacement O-rings, you get a uh, Allen key, you get everything you need basically, and you also get a little uh, cosmetic switch up. You get that silver ring instead of, or that silver barrel instead of the blue barrel, or you can, you know, switch them around, vice versa, wh whatever you want to do. So the pros definitely outweigh the cons. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, definitely something uh, to pick up if you're trying to build a lot. If you want to uh, do art coils or specialty coils or you know larger coils. Uh, this is definitely something to pick up, so definitely go check this out. As far as, uh, you know, if I will use this all day long, I probably will use this all, all day long. I really enjoy this. I really enjoy the ease of building. The only gripe I have as far as building on the deck are the grub screws. I cannot stand grub screws. Like, I absolutely, I hate grub screws with a passion. And that is just me. That's just, you know, that's just how, how I feel about it. That doesn't mean it's bad or good. This is me personally. I would rather use uh, Phillips or uh, you know um, a uh, flathead. I would rather use that than a darn grub screw. So shame on you, Kent. Shame on you for not thinking about me and what I like. But uh, yeah, I have I have nothing else to say uh, negative besides it is a great device for what it is. Just those little quirks, those little things that I found after using it a little bit. Uh, but if it's something you want to pick up, I would definitely recommend this for somebody who's building a lot consistently and are trying to, uh, you know, do bigger coils, thicker gauge wire, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that is it. And I'm going to wrap up this review. If you want to know more about this device, check in the description box below. I will put a link to Twisted Messes' website where you can pick this up. Um, yeah, and that is about it. Big shout out to uh, Kent, Twisted Messes. Thank you for sending this out for review. And uh, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that, that is all. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. And if you like my videos in general, please subscribe. And as always, stay classy and keep vaping. Mojo Jojo!